30 FKS. I'd like to start out by showing you the heavy duty diamond plate on the front of the unit. That is to protect the front of the unit from road debris and from items that might kick up and hit the front of the trailer. I'd like you to take notice of the foot pad on the bottom of the jack. Very heavy duty jack with a nice foot pad on the bottom so you don't always have to have wood underneath of it. Nice little feature about this unit is right here. It's a battery cutoff switch. So when you're parked and not using your unit, you can flip that to the off position and there's no way that anything's going to run your battery down. Nice little hitch light for, for hitching up at night over there as well. We'll start to move to the side of the trailer. There's a couple nice features about the side of the trailer that you can't see. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up, but you see a gloss here and a rough finish here. That's because this siding down toward the bottom of the trailer gets a lot of rope debris and rocks that kick up. This has a protective finish on it to keep it from marring it. You've got an easy open baggage door with a clamp holder and a large uh, baggage compartment here that does have a light in it for uh, seeing in there at night. You've got 040 metal down here on the bottom that does curve under and does protect the bottom of the coach from road debris as well. Not just cut off here like a conventional travel trailer does. As we move on down to the side, you see we got a nice Euro Arm A&E Sun Chaser awning. Comes standard on the Riverside trailer. Uh, this one actually covers the front door, the back door, and a picnic area. Right here, you might ask why do you have two outlets on the side of this trailer? This outlet here is actually in just the perfect spot for your awning lights that you hang on your awning. That's what this one is for. As we walk on back, you'll see a triple step, another triple step on the, on the second door. This is a double door trailer. Very, very nice trailer. Both have lights underneath the steps to illuminate for the step for you at night. Here's the other outlet, an outside cable outlet. This one you can hook your uh, grill up to, your electric griddle if you're cooking outside, your TV. This is for your cable TV outlet so you can watch outside from your antenna or the cable that you might hook up to in the park. We'll walk on back here past the uh, back door, the bedroom door, and we'll see another very large, spacious storage compartment that goes under the master bed with a light to illuminate if you need to get in there again at night. We'll walk on around to the back of the trailer. Right here you have your 110 and gas water heater. Here you have, um, you can light this, this water heater from inside the trailer. There's two switches inside. One will ignite it on gas. One will uh, heat it with electricity. And this, of course, is your outside shower that comes standard on this unit and the spare tire, which is standard on the Riverside trailer. As we move on back to the back, the back side, you have your city water fill and your water tank fill right here to where you can just hook up to a hose or fill your tank right here to run off your demand pump. As I was saying, it is a double door, but it also has double slides. Nice big two-slide trailer. It's uh, not very popular in today's market just because you can't get two slides in a lot of trailers of this size. An outside dump light, if you have to dump at night for any reason, it is nice to help set up your trailer when you come into the park late at night as well. And also right here is where you hook your cable TV up to to come into the trailer. Let's go on inside and take a look. Inside you'll see a nice open living area that has a few uh, features that a lot doesn't have. Um, one I'll point out is the airbed sofa. This isn't just a couch, it is an airbed. You flip it over and uh, you turn a switch and it inflates itself to a full size bed and has all this storage underneath the bed to put your linens in uh, during the day so you don't have to go put those away in any place but right here. And actually, there we go. Um, the next feature I'd like to point out is there's no booth in this unit. This unit has a table and chairs that gives you a lot of space for your dinner. 
um, four separate chairs. Uh, you're not touching somebody else that's sitting right next to you. You'll notice up here you do have real nice rich leather. Uh, this was previously called the Diamond Edition, but now they include it all in standard on the Riverside trailer. The leather, the soft pleated shades, the indirect lighting through the ceiling. Very nice touch in a uh, travel trailer of this size and this dollar value. You'll see either between the, the chairs and the sofa or on this side, you'll see a nice wainscoting coming up to the side of the wall. Not just, uh, not just a piece of uh, paper as a trim piece, but actual wainscoting separating the wallboard. Very large front kitchen unit. That's why we have a lot of space in this unit is because it's a front kitchen. You're not taking up the kitchen space in the middle of the trailer. It's all up front wraparound countertop. Anybody's going to love a wraparound countertop, man or woman. Nice Euro sink. Comes out past the countertop. Double bowl sink, Euro sink. Sticks out. Very, very nice touch. You won't find soft pleated shades in the kitchen area because of the grease, but you will see a nice um, stop at the end of the countertop, the backsplash, to keep mold from growing behind the counter. Nice large range with oven, uh, Magic Chef range with an oven and a collapsible range cover to extend your countertop. Nice big Hamilton Beach carousel microwave, um, nice large Dometic double door fridge, seven cubic foot fridge, very nice refrigerator, very, very nice. Over here, you might hear some music playing. Over here, you'll see a nice high quality Jensen stereo. This stereo happens to be an AM, FM, CD, DVD, MP3 player that has a hookup for your iPod, headphones, or you can even hook a computer into it. Very, very nice. It plays throughout the system and it also has hookups for when you put a DVD in. It is through the uh, stereo system throughout the, the coach and outside. You can control three different zones in this uh, coach for three different areas of speakers. Let's walk on down the hallway. Before we get to the bedroom, I'd like you to take a look at this, this nice size bathroom. This bathroom is huge. Lots of storage in this bathroom. Uh, some, one thing I'd like to point out is a lot of people have never thought of this, but this comes standard with a hair dryer, with a nice in-the-wall Conair hair dryer. Uh, switches to turn your lights on and off and a GFI protected outlet right next to the sink. Uh, down here we have a porcelain toilet. Uh, a lot of people today are using a plastic toilet. Nice porcelain toilet with a foot flush uh, so you don't have to get sprayed on your arms. Nice big medicine cabinet here and uh, nice double door storage underneath the sink here. As you can see that linoleum goes all the way through. There's no breaks in that linoleum in this coach. Nice large neo angle corner shower. This is a highlight of this trailer. If you look at that, nice big shower. You're not cramped. Uh, you've got a, a nice fan to take out uh, the steam or whatever else somebody leaves in the bathroom for you. In here you have three nice shelves in this one cupboard. Extra extremely large shelves uh, with the solid wood doors, not particle board wood, uh, not particle board doors. Let's go on into the bedroom. One thing I like about this trailer, uh, uh, you actually have a separate room. There's a lot of trailers that actually give you a bed area that has pocket doors or something like that. Not a whole separate room. This is a separate bedroom with a separate entry door. Very, very nice touch. It's not the best part though. The best part is, is the newest thing in travel trailers is having the bed set off to an angle. It maximizes your space. If you look at what a lot of trailers offer for the bedrooms, it's usually pretty tight, pretty cramped. This has an extra large inner spring coil pillow top mattress. All of this space that you just don't see in today's trailers. That's why we have this here. Large chest of drawers with large cabinets uh, to open solid wood right here. No particle board in here. This is solid plywood in this unit. This is very, very nice unit with, with uh, deep walnut cabinets. Again, this is a 
slide room. It is out right now. Uh, but you can see all of this room around the bed. I'd like to point out a couple things that you can't probably see right away. Night lights to, to illuminate uh, when your lights are out at night. Uh, just if you have to get up and go to the bathroom, it's kind of cool to leave these on. There's one here, there's one on the other side of the bed, and there's one by the door. Again, second entry door. Second entry door in this unit. <clears throat> you do not have to go through the front door. It is a nice safety feature. Nice rounded doorways in this unit, not squared off doors. Um, what I like about this trailer, it's very affordable. Uh, you can you can pick this trailer up from Allen Creek RV and Marine for about $8,000 off MSRP. I, I think it's a great, great value uh, for your money. If you have any questions about this Riverside trailer or any other trailer, scooter, boat, or generator that we happen to offer at Allen Creek, give us a call at 740-363-4068 or find us on the web 24 hours a day at allencreekrvandmarine.com or you could always do it the old-fashioned way or the newest fashion way by finding us on Facebook or at the website that we suggested. Please give us a call. Thank you.